What's up, people? All the subscribers tuning in, all the new people tuning in, and everybody tuning in. Stoked to have you here. It's been a long year. Um, it's been the contest season, so it's been really hard for me to kind of have the YouTube stuff going on as well as doing comps around the world and I've been doing a really big filming project with Red Bull which I'm super excited to release and show you all so it's been pretty hard to have YouTube running on the side you know and have everything documented but winter is on its way I'm gonna be home all the time then going into next year I genuinely believe the YouTube thing is gonna carry on so Scotty here behind the camera is keen I'm keen but anyway welcome back to my channel um, I just kind of want to show you around my apartment garage really so I moved into this flat with my girlfriend three months ago I think and it's taken me ages to get this room kitted out which I've been quite lucky has been sacrificed it should be a bedroom girlfriend would like it to be a bedroom but I've I'm required by my job my employment and my love of riding bikes to have a room that's absolutely full of them so this is basically stockpiled with loads of fresh gear, all the stuff, all the products I ride for, all the companies, and I'm just going to give you a little tour of what I've got going on, how lucky I feel I am to ride for all these sick companies and get a lot of free stuff. So, obviously behind me is the three main, three main workhorses. So, this is my jump bike, which I've competed on all year. It's my signature jump frame, the Alcatraz from Marin. Super short, the sickest bike, like literally the sickest bike I've ever ridden, can't even believe it. Um, got all rad parts on it, but I'll do another bike check this winter on that anyway, so stay tuned for that. The Attack Trail, I've had so much fun on this year. I rode that in New Zealand at the start of the year, so you might have seen quite a few videos of me riding that 150 Beast. And then more recently, and more recent to the last YouTube video, has been the launch of the Marin Wolf Ridge. So this is a 29er, absolutely insanely sick bike i can't believe how capable this thing is it's got a reactor plate suspension system and we don't have time today to talk through what that is it's basically you need a physics degree to understand it but what you would understand is how sick it rides it's insanely good when you pedal it works with you so it basically sprints like my hardtail but rides downhill like a 160. this is a 160 pretty cool bike both got fox well this has got the fox transfer dropper post so it's very very good uphill but I'm more of a downhill guy and it's sick for that as well. Um, what else we got? So, bikes is done. They're my main three. I guess most people would be most stoked about this is the Fox stockpile. So, I've got three shocks there, all to find a home, a frame to go on. Drop a post, drop post lever, that's probably another shock. I need to actually find out what I've got up there, but I'm quite lucky there. If you look at the side, there's actually six pairs of forks going on here, all numbered with my names on from Fox in America. So it's like a dream coming in here, seeing all that, that I've got forks going into next year to go on bike, so super lucky. Um, I recently started riding for Topic as well, which is a tool manufacturer, and if anyone here likes working on their bikes, they'll be as stoked as I am on this thing. The Preparation Pro kit. Boom. So you've got all the levels, all the tools you can need. That's just pure Allen keys, a whole level for Allen keys. I actually wouldn't know what to do with a lot of those ones, that's a bit above my ability. I go to the bike shop for that stuff. Um, loads of cutting tools, of spanners, spoke keys, big pedal spanners, chain whips. That's quite sick. It's not really the sort of thing you'd have in the back of your car, but if you've got an apartment garage like I'm lucky enough to have, then it's pretty perfect to have. I might just leave that there, it's a bit of faff. Um, what else? A few fresh iLab garments here. And the, get the, the whole wardrobe is just pure iLab garments. So I might not be the steeziest guy in the world, but I feel like I can go out looking fairly steezy in my iLab gear. Um, this is a bit of a mix match of, of cool stuff. So up top, all my WD-40 stuff, oils, chain lubes, bike cleaners. I've got loads, I've got new gusset saddles. That needs to go on my trail bike. That's the new S2 jump saddle. She's got these little grippy pads for bar spins because you pinch the seat like so when you do bar spin suicides. Nice little touch there from Gusset. Um, Shimano stuff, a few trophies. These are cool. These are like these handmade tractors, funnily enough, from the Farm Jam Comp in New Zealand, which I've won twice. Um, they're quite cool. Bike Days, that was a first place trophy. First place at Max's Slope Style in Colorado. That's like probably my best result because it got me a wild card into Crankworks in Whistler. Um, 
fresh Alcatraz frame, that's going to replace that one. I'm going to build up a freshie for the winter because travelling all year it gets a bit worse for wear. You get scratches. The best feeling is getting on a fresh frame. So you look, it's like buying a brand new car from the showroom but in bike form. Everyone can relate to that, having a fresh frame. Um, this is actually really sick and I take it for granted how many Red Bull helmets I've got. So two trail helmets up there, my fresh TSG one here. Which is well nice. I only got that two weeks ago and already had a crash in it, but I'm trying to look after them. Um, I ran the the kind of like water sportsy looking over here scooter kid helmet for a while, but I'm well into it. I got bullied by quite a few members of the FMB World Tour for turning up in this helmet, but I'm really into it. I think TSG are quite smart coming up with that lid and it looks sick, Red Bull painted. And then obviously all the full faces there. Um, and I've got, <laughs> I've got even more helmets. I've got my spare ones that haven't been sprayed there with some fresh 510 shoes to go with it. Um, more trophies. There's actually, look, so if anyone has an apartment or a shortage of space and not a garage, unless you're a quad bike enthusiast or a jet ski professional, you don't actually need all that space. You can just get by. These, they're made by Top Peak as well, the bike carriers. They literally just, you stick them on the wall and you can rotate them as well. So. That's really cool for me. I'm sure a lot of you at home just want to see backflips, but for me, I could play around with them all day. Um, and also, I've got some cool, some cool checks from competitions. That was the Colorado one, where it got me a wild card. Um, that was, that's actually my best result. I was so stoked with that. Um, first at bike days in Switzerland. The wild card for Whistler last year. So that got me into the Diamond Series and that was all because of going to Colorado and winning basically, so that was insane. That's, I should put that on the wall, I'm stoked for that. Um, these two UK comps, the heir to the throne, I came second to Nikolai Rigatkin both years. Come back next year Nikolai and we'll see what happens then. And fourth at Fees China where I might be going next month actually, that's kind of weird, it's in November. It's quite cool to have a comp right at the end of the year, but China is mental. Um, I was a bit unsure about it last year, it's quite, quite a gnarly place, I don't know, feels scary there but they loved it, the crowd loved it, I think they love everything. So um, other than my uh, office chair for writing emails and for Scott to edit these new vlogs, that is quite a in-depth tour I think of the apartment garage. So I guess next video is going to be me riding, uh, I'm going to go up soon with Scott to my compound check it out. I'll give you guys a proper in-depth tour of what's going on in my compound, the recent little bits of work I've been doing and my plans for this winter. I want to build some more cool jumps there, make it way better for training, way better for having mates over from other countries. But yeah, thanks for getting involved with this video. I'm really excited to actually prolong this off-season and pump out some cool videos. Hopefully you're all going to tune in again. But I guess I'll catch you next time. If you, if you liked it, comment below. If you have one of these same apartment garages at home, comment below. I want to know what mods I could do, what upgrades I could have, how you think I could deal with the space better. I'm not into motocross. I'm not going to put a motocross bike in here. I can't ride a motocross bike up the stairs. But, yeah, any reasonable suggestions, I'm all ears. Cheers, guys. Catch you in the next one. And thanks for tuning in.